Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. For this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Over the holidays, uh, Michelle had gotten a new pizza oven uh, for Christmas, and we've cooked on it several times. We want to kind of give you a little walkthrough of it and see what it's all about, and then at the end, we're going to go ahead and throw pizza on it and cook up a pie for you. Uh, this pizza oven is actually built by a company out of Kentucky named Halo, and what's, what's great about it is it's, it'll hold up to a 16-inch pizza, but it has a really nice sleek design. It comes with a port where you can plug in a 20 pound uh, typical propane uh, canister that you would have in your backyard for a gas grill, but it also holds a one pound. Now what's nice about this unit is this lid actually lifts completely up. So you can get in there and, and clean this out. Again, it has a, uh, I believe it's a half inch uh, cordite stone here that actually lifts out so you can clean it up real easy. And it has the turntable. What's great about this is it has a flame in the back for the heat along with the infrared heater on the bottom, which is actually heating the bottom of that stone. So you don't run into the problems that you have where, you're, where the bottom of the pizza crust isn't completely cooked. Uh, it's, it doesn't leave it doughy. The good thing also too is this tray right here, you can see we got some bits of stuff in there because we have been using it. This tray right here actually lifts out, you dump it off. You know, if you have cornmeal or excess flour or something on it, cleans up super, super easy. Uh, the other good part about it is, is yes, it comes with the, your, your typical plug-in adapter that you can plug into the, to an outlet. But if you're traveling with this thing, it will also run this turntable off of two D-sized batteries, which is, is great for the things we're doing with it. Not only will we be taking this unit probably out camping with us, but we'll, Michelle does uh, pizza cook-off association uh, pizza competitions. We'll be using it for that, and then we use it at home use. When I was a kid, you know, we used to make pizza every Friday night. Being the youngest of eight, buying pizza out wasn't always an option. So it was kind of a family tradition to, to make your own pizza, and it's something that we enjoy doing now as a family. Uh, this is an outdoor unit. It will cook a pizza in about five to seven minutes from what we found out, maybe a little bit longer today. It's roughly 20 degrees out, so it's a little chilly. It is pretty well insulated, but again, the front's open, so you do lose a lot of heat on it, but it will get up to 950 degrees. We'll do a little reading on it here once we get it moving and get it fired up to show you where we're running at, but typically it, it'll, it'll stay you know, right around eight to 900 degrees pretty regularly. Again, totally portable. It's gonna be something that, you know, she could, if she wanted to, move on her own. Uh, not very heavy, really easy to assemble. The packaging this thing came in was immaculate. It wasn't damaged. Uh, everything was in perfect shape when it arrived. The price point on this thing's about $3.99, which is astonishing for what you're getting uh, and the quality of the build. Very nice unit. Uh, it has the electric start that you would typically have on, on, on any you know, outdoor appliance. It also has the button which actually turns on the rotisserie or the rotating uh, pizza stone. And then of course your gas knob. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go inside. We're gonna get this thing fired up here in a couple minutes and we'll leave it run and get nice and warm. We'll go inside. Michelle's going to put together a pizza for us. We can, we're going to be able to put on here. Once it gets up to temperature, we're going to come back outside and we'll actually show you where we're reading on this thing. But you got to keep in mind, it's, it's, it's cold today and it's windy. So, but we'll take a look here. We'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, so Michelle's going to stretch us out a medium sized uh, pie here. Uh, just something we can show you real quick how nice this thing cooks uh, pizza up and how, how quickly it does. Uh, you're going to get a nice, even cook on this using this uh, Halo 16 Versa. Uh, and you could do up to a 16-inch pie. We're not going to go that big today. This is probably going to end up being around 14 inches, so it'd be more of along the line of a medium. Uh, just a little sauce, some cheese. We'll cook it up and, and show you guys what the finished product looks like. You can tell this dough is super soft. She's just pushing from the center out. It'll be fairly thin when she's done. 
but it's a, it's a very simple, uh, delicious dough recipe we use. It's actually a 72 hour process. If you guys are interested in seeing a, a pizza video, comment down below. Tell us what you want to see. We'd be happy to show you the process of, from dough to sauce, everything we use. Stretching a little bit by hand, she throw it on our pizza peel here. And again, this is what's great about making pizza at home. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Make it the way you want it. Put the ingredients on it that you enjoy. And it's something you can do with your whole family. So you're gonna probably add about half a cup or so of sauce to this. Today we're just using a basic canned sauce by Urban Slicer. So get that all the way to the edges. We're gonna put some uh, sliced mozzarella cheese on top, maybe a little Parmesan. Some Italian seasoning. This thing's gonna be good to go. What's your favorite pizza toppings? Put it below in the comments. Let us know what you like. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Add a little Parmesan on the bottom. Now she's gonna add some uh, freshly sliced mozzarella. We, we've been using uh, mozzarella cheese that has been sliced more often on our pizzas. It just seems to give it a nice even distribution of the cheese and it's not overly heavy. Makes for awesome pizza. We're gonna go out back now. We're gonna put this on the, on the halo. Okay, so right now, you can, if you can see it here on my thermometer, we're running right around 700 degrees. Now keep in mind, it's 30 degrees outside with the wind chill, it's about 20. So this thing's doing a good job of keeping up uh, in, in the, in the uh, conditions we're in right now. So Michelle's gonna go ahead and what I'm all, only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the turntable. She's gonna come in and shoot that pie onto the stone and we're gonna turn it back on and let it cook. Okay, so we're back on the stone. She turned it back on, and we're gonna let this spin. So again, folks, this, this can be operated through extension cord, you can plug it in like an, any order, ordinary appliance, you can use two D-cell batteries to turn that turntable, you got your 20 pound propane tank you can hook up or your one pound if you're out and about, if you're camping, something like that. Uh, very versatile, easy to use as you've seen, it's holding its temperature nice even on a cold day, pretty easy operation. You're not spinning the pizza constantly, you know, we're going to show you here in a couple minutes what a, a good pizza looks like coming out of this oven. Okay. Smoking hot. Oh yeah. Okay, so our pizza's done. You can hear how nice and crunchy that is. Michelle's gonna cut this thing up. It smells amazing. Nice little medium sized pizza. Okay, I'm gonna grab a small piece. Let's see how good she cut it here. So you can see the airiness in that dough. Nice and crunchy. Want to see the undercarriage? Mm. Mm. 
that dough is so light. Just the right amount of cheese. It's not over, not overly sauced. Great flavor. I'm telling you, that Halo 16 Versa is the ticket. Check out that pizza oven. Make sure you hit like and subscribe.